trying to they're, they might match him up with Dustin at UFC 300 which I would I would pay to see Dustin in Armin fight I'm not gonna lie to you that'd be an interesting fight Yeah, Islam Makhachev is one of the best fighters that I have had the ability to train him. He works mm. so hard. He's so committed to being the best in the world. And on that night, now I want to see that get back at Islam. I think he wins, no doubt. The very top of his game. And he did it in a you think Armin beats Islam? Down with his hands. But Duke Bronx has said time and time again, I went back in the lab. I am better today than this version of Charles Oliveira gets the job done against Islam Makhachev. Oh, nice block. Hmm. Oh, hmm. beautiful straight left hand. Early round action here, Charles Oliveira pressing forward, guard high, in constant pursuit of his foot. Yeah, classic boy time, man. Lifting that knee to draw to reaction, and if you give him too big a reaction, he will start you with that beautiful left hook. The guy is, has tremendous power. Throw that out there just to get him looking at it. Not many guys in the UFC are not I think MVP is going to be in the, the game. If he's actually in the UFC. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Hit him with a nice elbow. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes have landed for Charles Oliveira. Oliveira's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Bro, Brody's just legit looking for them. Them slip hooks too. Nice pull. Makashev's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Nice block. Hmm. Okay. Round two straight ahead. Alright. I see what's going on here. I see what's going on. I see what's going on. Nick, anyone's got a puncher chance, but Armin has the hands and is gifted. I mean, we'll see, bro. Armin's definitely a beast, but Islam has the size and matches. Okay, look. If that's the thing about him fighting Dustin, he has to fight somebody again before he gets a title shot. He's not gonna jump Justin Gaethje, bro. He's not. So if he beats, if he goes up against Dustin and starches Dustin or beats Dustin, then you could be like, hey, you know what? He's next after Justin. That's 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 the. That's the interesting part about giving him a title shot or giving him the matchup with Dustin is after you can set up who's going to challenge Islam after Justin if he gets past Justin. Oh, he's going to sit here. Oh, I try to block that. I'm gonna flick it hard enough. Nope. Go up. Oliveira getting work from the top here. These guys. Oh, no, I want to see Gigi. You think Oliveira is beating Islam? He could. I think people forget are are really sleeping on and forgetting how good Charles Oliveira is, bro. Like, no joke. I think people are forgetting how good Charles Oliveira is. Great block there. Oh, 
Up and out of straight. Sitting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing straight into a jab straight. I can't even, bro, what, what, how, what was I supposed to block right there, dog? I couldn't even see the direction that the takedown was going in. What was that? Like, EA, for reals, like, what was that? I couldn't even see where that takedown was going. It's the elbow there. It's ridiculous, man. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And this is crazy, man. This is crazy. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. Throw the half guard. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Nice shots landing from the top position. Well, I was going to go for a sub. We go for a little Dars. A little Darcy Dars. Fighter trying to pass here. Uba gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Ground and pound strike there now. And there it is. Another strike. Got up. Gets through on the ground. Oh. Charles scared of Islam, and that's why he refused to accept the match. Bro, he had a... Did you see Charles's cut? Did you see his cut? The one that he got that forced him to pull out of the fight with Islam? Right, yeah, bro. He had a pretty nasty cut. The damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the This is crazy, dude. And he wasn't responsible. All right, we got to make a comeback in the in this third round. Out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? All right, we go. Ready. Here we are back for our third and final round. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, yeah. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on Adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significant damage. Mm. Well, no feeling out process. Go to sprawl. Fighters invoking damage on the other. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Well, we went for the Kusi straight off the rip. Right there. Just over three minutes to go. Got him up out of there. Got him up out of there. Like I said, we needed to finish. We got it done.